Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. I'm here with part two of me opening an Ultra Prism Pokemon Booster Box. This Booster Box opening is part of my 20 Pokemon Booster Box opening series I'm doing for the summer of 2018. This is the first of the two Ultra Prism Booster Boxes that I'll be opening up this summer. I did purchase this box from Troll and Toad for $89.95. You'll find a link to their website in the description of this video. So 18 packs left in part two to open up. Started off here with Dawn Wings Necrozma. I was able to pull a couple of Dawn Wings Necrozma GX cards in part one. Happy with the pulls there. Still would love to pull either a Cynthia Full Art or one of the two gold color GX Full Art Secret Rares. So the first pack in part two here starts with Scorpy, Young Goose, Cherubi, Piplup, Snover, Lightning Type Energy, Cynthia, one of the best supporters in the TCG right now, Grottle, a Skateboard, Reverse Hollow of a Drampon. I pulled this card in Rare Hollow form in part one. And the final card would be an Electivire. Now I did have a little bit above average pulls in part one. So I may only get five good cards. Hollows, Ultra Rares, and Secret Rares combined in part two. Dust Mane Necrozma pack now. But all it really takes is one good pack to make the booster box. Lots of valuable cards in this set. Murkrow to start the pack, Gibble, Dupiter, Stunky, Turtwig, Darkness Type Energy, Shield On, Lopany, Unit Energy, Reverse Solo of a Unit Energy, this one is an uncommon, and the final card, wow, right there, there is the Solgaleo GX Full Art Secret Rare. The completely gold card. I have not pulled this card from a pack before, at least in an English opening. So here is about an $80 card right here. So this booster box was a major success. Set that one aside. And that card may be one of the most beautiful cards that I have in my collection. That definitely made the box. Wow, was not expecting that at all. So moving on to the next pack now, Leafeon on the cover artwork design. Green colored code card. But I've now had a couple of great booster boxes in a row in this series. Last week in the Stormfront booster box was able to pull the Charizard reprint out. Turtwig to start the pack. Electabuzz. Cheruby. Glammeow. Snover, Fire Type Energy, Alolan Dug Trio, Unit Energy, Prinplup, Reverse Solo of an Eevee, just a common, and the rare would be a Wash Rotom. Giratina Pack now. Green Colored Code Card. And if I was really looking to make a profit on this box, I would just not open up the remaining packs just because there's probably not going to be too much in there since I pulled two secret rares out already. Young Goose to start this pack. Cheruby, Piplup, Snover, Murkrow, Fairy Type Energy, Ancient Crystal, Cherum, Gumshoes, Reverse Solo of a Lunala Prism Star. Unfortunately, I have pulled this card twice in the booster box, but still another Prism Star pull, three total. And the final card would be a Roserade. And that is a little bit disappointing, like I mentioned, getting duplicates of something like a Prism Star. But I believe there's only a handful of Prism Star cards in this set, so not a surprise I get a duplicate. Dust main the Crosma pack now. Here we go, another white colored code card. The pack starts with Alolan Vulpix, Stunky, Young Goose, Roselia. Cosmog, Grass-type Energy, Magneton, Spiritomb, Alolan Dugtrio, Reverse Solo of a Looker, which is an uncommon, 
And the final card would be another ultra rare pull, this time a Dialga GX. This card's timeless GX attack is very useful. It allows you to attack two turns in a row, making it so your opponent can't even attack. So essentially, you could knock out two Pokemon GX in your two consecutive turns and take four prize cards. Leafeon pack now. Another white colored code card, so this may be a well above average box. Of course, I'll summarize my pulls at the end. Bronzor to start the pack. Gibble. Roselia. Chimchar. Scorapi. Water type energy. Mars. Lopany. Manaphy. Reverse Hollow of an Eevee, just a common. And the rare here would be a Shaman, and that is a rare Hollow. Set that one aside. About halfway through part two, already pretty amazing pulls. Yanma to start this pack. Bronzor. Gibble. Roselia. Chimchar. Psychic type energy. Missing Clover. Manaphy. Lily, Reverse Solo of an Araquanid, that is a rare. And the final card would be an Empoleon. So I believe that is the third Empoleon of this opening. Of course, you normally want to use a rare candy to jump from Piplup to Empoleon. Dawn Wings and Crosma pack. Gibble to start this pack. Pachirisu. Yanma. Murkrow. Eevee. Fighting type energy, fire memory, order pad, drift blim, reverse hollow of a type null, so another rare reverse hollow, and the final card would be a shinodic. Next pack here Eevee to start this pack, Alolan Vulpix, Alolan Diglett, Shinx, Yanma. Metal type energy, Pokemon Fan Club, Cranidos, Oranguru, Reverse Solo of a Chimchar, just a common, and the rare would be a Magearna. And this card's ability is pretty decent. I did do a video ranking the top 15 cards in this set when it comes to the competitive TCG. Leafeon pack now. Here's a white colored code card. Krogunk to start the pack, Eevee, Alolan Vulpix, Alolan Diglett, Shinx, Fairy Type Energy, Pokemon Fan Club, Gavite, Monferno, Reverse Solo of an Order Pad, and this is a decent trainer as well, uncommon rarity wise, and the final card would be a Rampardos, and this is a Rare Hollow. And this card is very good in the TCG, especially its Wild Crash move. A lot of basic Pokemon are Pokemon GX, so this card can knock it out immediately. It looks like nine packs left to go in part two. I may only get one more good pull from the remaining packs here. Would love to pull some type of full art. Magnemite to start this pack, Buizel, Magnemite, Krogunk, Bronzor, Water Type Energy, Gabite, Looker Whistle, Prinplup, Reverse Hollow of a Turtonator. This one is an uncommon, and the final card would be a Garchomp. This card can also do 200 damage per turn with its Royal Blades move. I like to combine Garchomp with Lucario from this set. Lucario has an ability if you have Garchomp in play, you can search your deck for any card you like and put it into your hand. Dawn Wings Necrozma pack. Eevee to start this pack. Salandit. Turtwig. Riolu. Krogunk. Darkness type energy. Bronzong. Volkner, Cosmoem, Reverse Solo of a Pachirisu, just a common, and the rare would be a Lickalicky. Next pack here. 
Buizel to start this pack. Eevee. Salandit. Turtwig. Riolu. Lightning type energy. Unit energy. Rotom. Driftblim. Reverse solo of an Alolan Diglett, just a common. And the rare here would be a type null. Leafeon pack now. White colored code card. This may be the last one of the box. Piplup to start the pack. Salandit. Passimian. Shinx. Execute. Psychic type energy. Floatzel. Missing Clover. Turtonator. Reverse Solo of a Magnezone. And this is another great card for the competitive scene. It accelerates metal type energy. This is a rare. And the final card would be a Dust Main Necrozma GX Full Art. So this may be one of the best Ultra Prism Booster Box openings that you see. GX Rainbow Rare, the Gold Color GX Full Art Secret Rare, and then that great Dust Main Necrozma GX Full Art. So very happy with this box. Giratina Pack now. Another white colored code card, so if I did my math correctly, I believe this is now an above average box. Moral Old to start this pack. Cosmog. Execute. Lickitung. Weasel. Fire type energy. Fire memory. Grottle. Perugly. Reverse solo of a Salazzle. Rare reverse solo. And the final card would be a Weavile. And that is a rare hollow. Set that one aside. Four packs left to go. Dawn Wings and Crosma pack. Green colored code card, no surprise. Drift Loon to start this pack. Morlo. Cosmog. Execute. Lickitung. Grass type energy. Skun Tank. Gardenia. Perugly. Reverse Hollow. Of a Cranidos, which is an uncommon, and the rare here would be a Toxicroak. Dust Main Necrozma pack now. Another white colored code card, so this is a well above average box. Drifloon to start the pack. Alolan Sandshrew. Hippopotas. Riolu. Alolan Diglett. Fighting type energy. Cynthia, Cosmoam, Bronzong, Reverse Solo of an Execute, just a common. And the final card would be a Lily Full Art. So one of the better Full Art Trainer cards in this set. But just an unbelievable box overall. I still have two packs left to go. Leafeon here and then Giratina on the final pack. Green colored code card. Murkrow to start the pack. Magnemite, Snover, Glamiao, Drifloon, Metal Type Energy, Looker, Yan Mega, Palpad, Reverse Hollow of a Turtwig, just a common, and the rare would be a Drapion. So, on to the last pack in this Ultra Prism Booster Box. One of the best booster boxes I've actually ever opened, I would say, on my channel. Giratina here. And surprisingly, it is a green colored code card. Maybe another Prism Star card, but I would doubt it. I have pulled three. So the final pack here Carnivine to start, Murkrow, Magnemite, Snover, Glamiao, Fairy type energy, Electric memory, Floatzel, Skun Tank. Reverse Solo of a Gabite, which is an uncommon, and the rare would be a Frost Rotom. So that concludes this opening. I can summarize my pulls now. So in part two, I was able to pull out five rare Reverse Solo. Salazzle, Magnezone, Drampa, Type Null, and then a Roquanid, and three rare Holo. Weavile, Rampardos, and then Shaman. As far as Ultra Rares and Secret Rares go, 
I was able to pull one Prism Star in Lunala, one regular GX in Dialga, one Full Art Trainer in Lily, one Full Art GX in Dustmane Necrozma, and then easily the best pull of the entire box, the Solgaleo GX Full Art Secret Rare, the gold colored one. So to summarize my pulls in part two again, I was able to pull out five rare reverse holo, three rare holo, one regular GX, one GX full art, one full art trainer, one gold colored GX full art secret rare, and one prism star. On the entire box, I was able to pull out 11 rare reverse holo, seven rare holo, three prism star, three regular GX, one GX Full Art, one Full Art Trainer, one GX Rainbow Rare, and then one GX Full Art Secret Rare, the gold colored one. So combined, I was able to pull out 14 Rare Hollow, Ultra Rare, and Secret Rare. So this is easily the best booster box of Ultra Prism that I've opened up on my channel. And I easily made my money back if I were to go out and sell the cards I pulled in this booster box. So there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, make sure to check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. And then next week in this series, I'll be opening up an Unleashed Pokemon Booster Box. So thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.